Hi guys, John here. So, finally got my huge check from subbing. So, I subbed about 10 days. I made this much. 1,165 bucks. It's too bad with income tax sucks. Cool. Sweet. Gotta love your sub subbing jobs. It's really cool really, and really exciting too. I just can't wait to be a teacher. It's going to be awesome. So, I'm um, going to give a care sheet video on the Hedescadra Maculata, which is the Togor Starburst Baboon. So I previously done a video of this on March the 1st, um, but I'm going to, I guess, repeat it. So, here is my adult female Hedescadra Maculata, Togor Starburst Baboon. This is a 5.5 inch adult female. Pretty much, that's how they grow. Nice, nice tarantula. I like its colors. It's like a milky, mocha, brownish white color with ornamental patterns. That's why they also call them the ornamental baboon. So these are old world species that come from Africa. So you can expect them to have a nasty attitude and a really bad bite, especially one of the more potent venoms. And this is closely related to the Stromatopelma calciatum, the feather leg baboon. So the care sheet video of the Stromatopelma calciatum will also apply to the HMAC video. Uh, so, so you got to keep these arboreal. And you can see characteristics of baboons. They have very thick hind legs that they use to um, use for their speed. So they attack really precise and accurate. These are one of the ac most accurate tarantulas I've ever seen attack at crickets. So here's its underside. So basically you keep it arboreal. Have a um, hollow log. So she likes to crawl under there. And a water dish. And for substrate I recommend about two inches of potting soil mixed in with vermiculite. Such as my Pocleferia metallica. That's really all you need. So what you do for temperature, you keep them really, I would say, slightly above room temperature, say like 75 to 80. That's pretty suitable, and you can keep them dry. You can miss probably months, a week, but 80%, uh, 75 to 80% humidity. That's all they need. They don't really need to be kept too moist like the um, Avicularia vicularis. This is one of the more easier arborals to take care of, but these guys are really aggressive, so... And because of their potency of venom, they should be recommended for the experienced only. So here's the adult female, and I have another one. <sighs> Three inch juvenile. Stay right in there. Here she is, right in there. And you can see they make elaborate web tunnels. Awesome. Alright guys, so... If you want to look at my calcium, it applies to the same thing. It's pretty much the same family. Except the S-Cal has actually slightly stronger venom than the HMAC. They're certainly uh, very defensive in nature, so recommended for experienced keepers. So, hope you enjoy the video. Peace guys.